What's up, everybody? This is the Force of Nature, Spiritual Awakening, and today we will be discussing the moon and your mother. So we will be covering moon in Taurus or moon in the second house and moon in Scorpio, moon in the eighth house individuals when it comes to your mother. So first, first, we're going to do moon in Taurus, moon in the second house individuals when it comes to your mother. So you find comfort in your mother who made you feel safe, secure, and loved. You learned from her to be steady, patient, and confident in yourself. Your mother could have neglected you in some way that made you feel vulnerable and also unsafe. Okay, now you see how it does the little flip here where it's saying that you could have felt safe, you could have felt secure, you could have felt love. But your mother could have also neglected you in some kind of way or made you feel unsafe. So these men and women have high expectations of their mother's ability to be able to provide for them. Okay, um, just in a practical way in day-to-day -day needs, day-to-day -day life. These people expect their mothers to be dependable and practical while making sure you have the necessities of life to remain comfortable. So life is meant to be savored and your mother is meant to provide the practical means for you to savor it. So as you go through life, you ask her to provide you with a constant stream of things to make your life pleasurable and also satisfying. So if she is able to provide them easily, you see her as a sweet, reliable provider who is always there for you. If she isn't always to provide them, you see her as an overly practical person who is stubborn and too careful with money. However, because your nature is gentle and sensitive, yet persistent, you push her to her limits. You push her to her limits to make sure you can get what you want. Yet, you never push her hard enough to make her attitude towards you turn angry and sour. So you generally see her as being kind. Okay? Also, for the moon in Taurus, moon in the second house individuals, when your mother was pregnant with you, okay, it could have been a slow birth process. Typically, this can usually indicate it wasn't a bad birth. Okay, and everything went smoothly, but it could also mean you were stubborn coming out and your moment and your moments made it difficult for your mother. Okay, so you could have been taking a long time to pop yourself up out of there. Okay, <laughs> taking a long time to find your way out. Okay, so now we're moving on into the moon in Scorpio, moon in the eighth house individuals when it comes to their mothers. So if your mother... From your mother, you gained emotional strength and intensity and a mysterious persona, but your mother could have neglected you or abandoned you in some type of way, which left you feeling unwanted. Okay, so we already know with this placement um, that it does bring that to the table. Um, another thing that this does bring to the table is that the mother can be extremely manipulative to the child. Okay, however... Her influence on you makes you feel very paranoid of others and even yourself. Making you have to be in control of your environment to feel secure. Okay. If your mother was in your life, okay, let's just say she was in your life or re-enters in your life, you can experience manipulation from her. Okay, I mean master manipulation, damn near, just from her. So your mother sparks more emotions in you than she actually realizes. You know she cares about you intensely, but she can be too close to you when you need space and too distant when you need closeness. So from being overly concerned with things that you want to dis disregard, to becoming enmeshed in your life when you need emotional privacy. 
It often seems that she is out of tune with your emotional rhythm. But your passionate and at the same time private nature creates this very dynamic that ends up driving you crazy. Okay, so Moon and Scorpio people, Moon and the 8th house people, please don't drive yourself to insanity. Although you need her close for emotional reassurance and support, you also have a tremendous need for emotional privacy. So it's difficult for her to accurately, okay, um, show this closeness and also that distance. Okay, so it's hard for her to, to um, decipher the two on what she's actually doing. So in trying to figure you out, she may prob you for feedback, which usually makes you calm and silent. Okay, now... Another thing with this placement, your resistance can be frustrating and can spark an angry response from her, which makes you see her as aggressive and also controlling. Okay, however, it's most likely you who is trying to maintain control and she is the one reacting to you. Okay, so please take a note of that. Okay, it may be the one, um, you may be the one that is egging shit on, okay? Or feel like you need to control shit or have some kind of sense of control. And she is responding, reacting to what you're doing. So depending on your reactions to her, you see her as a powerful person in your life who is willing to do anything to protect you when you are willing to trust her with your deepest emotions okay but we know that people with moon and scorpio moon and eighth house they struggle with their emotions and trusting people they're very cautious however when you aren't willing to open up and trust her you see her as manipulative and also controlling okay also moon and scorpio moon and the eighth house individuals when your mother was pregnant with you your mother may have feared having you okay so she could have felt like that um she's pregnant and just having you okay um it's going to be a huge transformation okay so she could have been a little nervous a little scared she could have also been very much angry okay upset that she was um pregnant okay now she's probably not upset with you she's just upset because it's life okay maybe she has other children okay maybe you're the firstborn okay but even with a firstborn, okay, it changes your life drastically, right? Um, your life is no longer your life. You're living your life and, you're, and it's supposed to be for your child as well, okay? Not that you stop your goals and things like that, but you have another person that you got to look after, okay? So I'm going to leave this on this note for now. And in future videos to come, I will go more into depth into um, the moon and your mother when it comes to moon in Taurus, moon in the second house, moon in Scorpio, moon in the eighth house individuals. So anybody want to get their chart analyzed, please hit me up. Anybody want to donate to the channel, please feel free. My phone number is 516-738-6042. And I do have the opposite polarity sale going on right now. It does end this particular sale because it is Pisces season. It ends March 19th. So I encourage you guys to jump on a sale. Um, I did just post the sale so it has all the information with the prices and everything like that on there okay so this is a force of nature spiritual awakening love is love peace and blessings to you all and i will see you on the next one